Hi guys, so tonight's video I am doing about the Spirit Halloween Tarot Deck. So I got this at the Spirit Halloween store for $7.99. A lot of people are showing this deck and picking it up because it's around Halloween time. Okay. Comes in a box like this. And it is for novelty purposes only. Okay. I see a lot of people doing the videos and they're talking about, um, you know, how some of the cards don't make sense and stuff. This has got a nice hard box to it, so if you don't want to keep them in that. Um, it doesn't come with plastic wrap, so be careful when you open the box because they're just going to start popping out. They're very glossy and shiny. And we'll talk about some of the things about this deck that make it more of novelty and not so much to read with. So, a lot of people were talking about the knobs on the sides. I don't know if you can see, but you could tell clearly these were cut out of a sheet. And they, you know, they didn't really work on shaving the sides too much. Mine, the knobs aren't too bad on mine, but they're there. This is the backs. I believe you can get this in pink or blue depending on your Spirit Halloween store in your area. So these I don't think are in order. Um, I didn't shuffle them or anything because I kept seeing them online and I kept thinking, you know what? I really think that that is such a cute deck. It reminds me of like a fairy tale book and it's all like um, mythology and kind of fairy tale type stuff, but it's really doesn't coincide with Rider Waite. It does in the sense that there are suits, pentacles, cups, swords, wands, yes, and there's major arcana cards, but when you think about Spirit Halloween, when they do, um, you know, like things for their store, they're doing it for like costume purposes, right? So, if you decided you wanted to be, say, a gypsy or a seer, tarot reader, whatever, for Halloween, you got to have your tools. Tools being a gazing ball or a deck of tarot cards or whatever. So, I believe that these were geared more towards decoration and novelty. That's why they didn't come with the little white book, yada, yada. Some of these are actually pretty cool. Um, some of these characters I've never heard of. But they're very colorful. They're very glossy. Um, this one is the Seven of Pentacles, and it says Gremlins. And some people, when they were showing this tech and they were looking at it, they didn't understand the gears. So let me tell you a little bit about... I only know about some of these characters, but these specifically... When you see gremlins, you think of, like, gremlins, like the movie Gremlins, okay? But what you don't think about is the actual myth behind the gremlins. If you look it up, gremlins were like little creatures that, um, I don't remember the reason behind why they did it, but they would go into, like, human... Um, machinery, airplanes, cars, and whatnot. And when they got in there, they would screw up their their gears, their work, their engines, whatever. Okay, so that's why when you think of seven, seven of Pentacles, you really you would think of seven of Pentacles. The meaning for that card, like this, would fit more seven of Swords better. Um, but. Pentacles, I guess it's showing the gears in place of the pentacles and showing the gremlins getting in the gears and whatever. A lot of these don't make sense to what Rider Waite imagery was trying to portray. And some of them, some of them, yeah. Some of them you could say, okay, this, this would make sense. Other ones, no. But, like this one, Four of Swords, Dracula, a coffin, resting, 
makes sense, right? This one, cool, cool card. Um, I don't know if I really understand it with the Three of Swords, though, how it coincides with that. Um, the Lovers. I don't know, like I said, if I'm going to show all of them, guys, but I'm going to show you some of them. I mean, there's so many reviews on these cards, though. The Gargoyle for the Tower. I was debating on whether or not to do this review only because I've seen that so many people have done it. And I like this card. It's so cute. Like, some of these are like fables and tales and myths and legends. And... If you think about, you put it by the Rider weight imagery, it makes sense. But, like here, Seven of Swords, you have a cannibal. Doesn't make a lot of sense with the Seven of Swords. So, it's just meant for novelty. I think it's really meant to, like, decorate your house with for Halloween. Or bring with you as part of your costume if you were to dress up. I don't think that it's really... And, you know, to be honest, these are $8, so that's, that's a pretty cheap price for something for decoration, you know? So, I mean, you're not going to get, like, a lot of good quality. <laughs> the artwork is cute, and it's bright, and I'm not making fun of anybody's artwork. I'm not saying it's terrible, but, you know, it's not the best artwork because it's just decoration but it's got some cool stuff in here some cool imagery and I wasn't even certain I was going to do this review because I was thinking you know everybody's doing it but they are glossy um, a lot of people were saying something about the cardstock not being good I don't know mine are Mine are kind of thick. They're not, it's not too bad. I felt much thinner. Maybe different Spirit Halloween stores have different, they use different um, quality cardstock. But this one is, was kind of thick. I thought it was pretty cool. I like this card a lot. Hope you can see it. It's the High Priestess. Anyway, guys, that's my take on the Spirit Halloween deck. I think it's it's pretty colorful, glossy, cool, just for novelty purposes. Um, you're not going to, I don't know, I'm not going to say you're not going to want to read with these, but if you do, you'd really have to use your intuition and the knowledge of what you know of the cards. Um, but I don't think that they would make for good reads. Just because they, it, it kind of looks like somebody just kind of threw them together. And they're basically just... Not a lot of thought was put behind it. Just so much different characters. But okay, guys. That is my take on the Spirit Halloween Tarot Deck. If you want to pick it up, Spirit Halloweens, they all have it for $7.99. Not a bad price. Uh, cute deck if you just want to look at the pictures and maybe keep them for decoration or something along those lines. But I don't think you'd want to read with them. But they are cool. Alright guys, thanks for taking the time to watch my video. Have a nice night. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe, guys. Love you.